Here you go, Gina. I didn't forget today. Well, it is harvest time and we need to get to it. So, before the server police come and get me and take me to jail, I need to take some hay bales over to Jake's. I do owe him a few hay bales. If you don't remember, I kind of took some. So, I think I'm just going to give him a whole trailer load. If you don't know, we got a ton of bales off of our alfalfa field. Uh, basically, it was enough to feed the county, so we're going to give some of that back to the county. I got too far down on the road there. We're going to get down here. I want to do this right in the morning so I can get to uh, harvesting. I got a lot of stuff to pull over there, get ready, get in the field. All right, I'm just going to go down here quickly and load this up and then uh, go haul this to Jake's. All right, I had to walk back here for our uh, tractor. I'm going to have to get that hitched up too. I think I'm gonna put that on the old Steiger here, but I need to get in this 84. Start this thing up. So we just have to load our trailer basically. Alright, we'll start loading this here. There we go. I don't know exactly how many bales I'm going to give Jake, but it's going to be way over than my allotted amount. Let's see, I... what did I take? I take three bales, so I owe him six, so I think I'll just take him this whole stack here. Alright, we got four bales on there, just a few more to go. Pull this up. I really like how these bales stack here because they're really easy. Oops, pushing a little bit there. Really easy to uh, maneuver with these uh, bale grabbers. Uh oh. Didn't quite get that one. That is why I pushed that bale off to the side. I was like, where did that bale disappear to? But. I just pushed it over on the other end, so we'll just grab these just because it's easier. There we go. Right over here and put these on the trailer nicely. There go. Was that? That makes six, so just a few more bales. Alright, I think these will be the last two we will haul over there. But that'll give them um, ten bales, so plenty. Alright, we will shut this thing down right here. Tip up the bucket just so it doesn't hold water. There we go. Alright, so we got these nicely stacked, pretty nice. We definitely got a heavy load in the front of the trailer. Probably should have moved that back a little bit, but it works. We're not going that far, it'll be okay. Alright, fold our mirrors out there. There we go. Alright, now we get to go to Jake's. How was I? How do I go to that place again? Uh, oh yeah, just right by the co-op. Of course, he lives over there by his work. Oh looky here! Looks like we got a buckaroo around here. We got him a little uh, standing lawnmower there. We need to fill up gas here quickly. All right, all full of gas. Kind of expensive gas nowadays. I mean, look at that diesel prices. Phew. Need to stop messing around and get to harvesting. So I need to get these to Jake's, but I know it's important. So I don't want him to run out of feed. So definitely want to get these over there. Not 
can't remember where this uh, exit is. Hmm. Where? Where is this at? Uh, I think I took a wrong turn somewhere. I'm gonna go a little bit off road. Don't worry, I finally found it. Just took the long route. Uh oh. Don't know if this trailer is gonna do it. Does the Dodge have it in it? Or the Ram? Does the Ram have it in it? Oh, yep. Oh, I thought I was gonna get high centered there. Uh oh, uh oh. Ah, I got it. Maybe I should have balanced that loaded on that trailer. I forgot about that Ram. So here we're at. I think he has a bail. Yep, here we go. Put the bales right under here. He has this nice loader for us to use. All right, so the bales are there. So video proof right there. Paid back in full and had some interest bales put onto it. All right, now we gotta get to harvesting. Man, when weeds die, it sure makes this place look a little bit depressing. I kind of like the extra color. I don't know about them. I'm gonna have to mow them off or something. We've got a lot of dead weeds. The trees look good, but man, just love autumn time in Nebraska. Got the changing of the trees colors. Just so beautiful. Only thing bad about it is now we got the season of the tumbleweeds and you're gonna be picking them out of the fence. All right, so that's unloaded. So I need to go over here, hook up our uh, workhorse. I'm gonna put it on this uh, auger here. We already got it pre-positioned in the right spot. So I'm gonna have to put it over here, get the workhorse to put on it. Not you, the white workhorse. Kind of excited. This is the first kind of task I have for this old tractor. All right, so we should be pre-positioned -position now. So we just shut this off. Now we're ready to dump in there. All right, second or third, fourth, whatever it is, we are going to hook up this uh, the grain cart to the stagger. Heard somebody else got one of these things around this. Uh, farm area. I was kind of hoping I was the only one, but this guy named Grant bought one too. Okay, starts up like always. Probably should be letting these things warm up, but I'm in a hurry. Corner's ready to go. We need to get to it. Alright, we are all hooked up now, so I mean, it doesn't look bad together does it I think it looks pretty good it's almost like it was made for each other a little bit of off greens but oh well it'll have to do because uh, gonna need this big uh, articulating tractor to get through all the mud around the hair so should be able to and it has more flotation big floater tires should help with that all right, so I'm going to take this over to the field. We're starting on the field adjacent to our house here. I'm going to have to make multiple trips back and forth. Man, I really need a hired hand. Got to move the trucks over there too. All right, so this is over there. We'll shut it off for now. Walk like always. All right, I'm going to start these up to get them warmed up. Good thing I don't have any problems with my batteries. So, I probably didn't tell you guys, so this was included. So, uh, bonus, got this with the whole building. So, I'm going to use it for grain. It's not the best setup for grain just because uh, it has the belt. It takes a little bit longer to unload, but... Uh, I don't have nothing else, so why not just use it? This thing has nice LED lights on the back, too. 
So it should work good because one, we're just putting it in an auger anyway, so we don't have to worry about taking it to a co-op. So I'm hoping it'll work all right with grain, but I've never really used one of these belt trailers on grain, so we're gonna experiment. Oh, come on. You can do it. There we go. All right, truck's warming up. All right, now I need to go hook up to the head cart. I don't know how my truck just always seems to get dirty. It was clean. I put ba hauled bales over there to Jake's, and now it's dirty again. Just crazy how this happens. So if you see, our head cart is like extremely too big compared to our little 12 row head, but it works. Back this thing up, so. At least it's too big and not too small. That's what she said. All right, hook that up. Make sure this is strapped on, so... Love these corn heads. I did get to repair these, so I repaired the whole corn head late at night, so this is good enough to go for now. I'm gonna have to give it a good uh, once over after the season because there's a little bit re more repairs we need to do, but for right now, it's gonna last this season, I hope. All right, so now we're gonna pull this over to the field. All right, so that's parked in the field. Now we gotta walk again. I'll bring the semis over and then finally get them harvesters in the field. Run it. So I know we're so close to the farmyard, we could just be uh, hauling the grain with the grain cart to, to the bin and just leave the, one of these trucks parked underneath the auger. But uh, I only have one grain cart and two harvesters, so I really just think to keep them harvesters running a little bit more, I'm just going to be hauling it back to the bin here. Alright, that semi's ready, now we just got to go get a harvester. We're in the silver bullet. Just gotta back this up. I'm gonna get this harvester started basically because I'm gonna be running the John Deere. Just how it works. Boss man gets to drive the new harvester. Or I should say newer harvester. But I'm gonna back this out hopefully without wrecking this uh, head. I'm gonna clear. Yep, there we go. Cleared that. You looking good, Green Beast. I just love them LSW with giant tires on there. So I'll probably uh, make one round with this uh, harvester just to uh, see how this is running. Make sure there's nothing, no issues, uh, no weird sounds before I hand this off to the hired hand. All right, we're just gonna go over here where we left off the other day. It is dry enough, so we can, we're going to have to run it through our dryer, but it, it's running at a 20%, so it's go time. Man, I don't know. I'm going to have to end up doing some time in the gleaner cab uh, this year, too, because I can't uh, just all sit in that John Deere. Ooh, almost caught a fence post in this old... Uh, Harvester, don't want to do that. Gotta keep it headed straight down the rows like so. Oh, there was our 50% charm there. So we're running at about 190 bushels per acre. So getting a fairly good amount out for this field. So not gonna be the the probably going to be about the county average it's not going to be the the county uh, bumper crop or bumper field it's a little bit uh, discouraging because this field is right next to the highway so I always like my uh, that's where you have your best crop your best uh, fertilized crop your highest uh, where you put all your money in for fertilizing and make sure you don't make any mistakes, especially when you're spraying it. You don't want to have a weedy field or, you know, 
missed some nitrogen spots in the field and the whole neighborhood will have to go tell you about it. Just hit our 80% charm there. Little dinger. Bad thing is, is uh, we're gonna need to unload before we get back to the get back to the, the trucks here. A little bit bouncy in this field, so you gotta kind of take it slow just to make sure there's sometimes some cave-ins. All right, so our grain cart is over here now. back up a little bit all right we're gonna start going again here should be able to make it around here now put a load in the JNM there all right now we are uh, harvesting right beside our old horse pasture here like we are just about around so we can go hand this off and go grab our uh, new John Deere new to us John Deere harvester all right the green beast it's gonna be awoken I just love these tires I mean so giant the ones on B spine were a little old and worn out and these are just brand new you can tell they've just barely been used aftermarket LSW's 1400's alright let's see if this thing starts up look at that thing just so mean looking alright so we need to get into the field here and start running all the green beast so we gotta get the head hooked up make sure it's connected right and then we can start the harvesting I think Pretty sure this thing is gonna outcut that uh, the silver bullet or the gleaner R75 we have over there, but never know. I know I'm gonna have a hard time keeping up with one grain cart with both of these uh, harvesters running, but we'll see. All right, gotta hook this up here. Gleaner's headed away there. We will see if we can start cutting in and then uh, beat this cleaner, huh? Cleaner can't keep up with the John Deere. No, that cleaner is running great. So it's a rotor combine. So ooh, we're gonna have to go on the highway a little bit to go around him. All right, we are clear. Run over here. I'm just gonna start a path right about here I think that's about good good thing about GPS you don't have to count rows because that is not easy ah look at this old girl go ooh this thing is saying that we're yielding a little bit higher must mean it's not seeding the ground like that cleaner is over there you're running about uh, 194 there bushels per acre which the cleaner I believe was saying 180 about 10 bushels off so it must be seeding a little bit behind the combine or not calibrated one of the two probably seeding Looks like a pretty clean tank in there. Oh, S600 getting it done. They always said these S600s uh, crack the kernels a little bit. Doesn't look like I'm getting any cracked kernels in there, so that's good. The gleaner is supposed to be a cedar, and this is supposed to be uh, this is supposed to crack the kernels. Look at them bushels go up. We're already getting. Ooh, yep, there's our beeper going off. See us running. There's the gleaner behind us. Looks like it's filling up quickly. Man, I really like them big LSWs. I mean, look at them things. Things are so cool looking. 
There's our flasher going off there. We are starting to get full. Beans, we don't have enough hired hands. I'm gonna have to run over here, jump into our Steiger here, go catch the harvester. All right, let's go catch this harvester. I don't know why the gleaner left that little spotch there. Uh, I think you you could have went a little bit closer there, buddy. Man, is that auger ever long? That's one thing that S600 has on that older R75. Definitely has a longer auger on it. So I just wore out a gearbox in this this uh, grain cart. Man, shoot, this is my only grain cart I have. So I called the dealer and they said they I could borrow another one. So. Basically, I'm going to have to take this grain cart back to my shed there. Man, I, it's so, it's so frustrating uh, breaking that gearbox, but we'll get it back to the shed. So frustrating that I broke this thing. I mean, I just purchased it. So I did get look over it a little bit, but apparently this must have been either they didn't get the gearbox they dried up the gearbox which it was wet I did check that but they might have done it and just sold it that way that's kind of what you get when you have a blind bid you never know when stuff like this may happen so I'm gonna park this into our shop here and hopefully get it fixed all right this looks like it'll be a winter project just like that old uh, truck will be back there and get this uh, unhooked here so I called the dealership and they said just make sure you bring your articulated tractor to come get the grain car I have no idea what they're talking about uh, why I would need a articulating tractor must be big grain cart I guess we'll run over there and see what we got so this is what they're talking about, the big grain cart. So we definitely got the floater tires on this thing. It's not a tracked grain cart, but wow. Has that thing got some uh, flotation with it? So we got it on this big Steiger. Uh, fortunate that our other j &M broke down, but uh, kind of happy I get to uh, use this uh, big Brent grain cart. I'm Look at that thing, it's giant. I did see some movement around uh, Grant's place here. He must be uh, doing something. I don't know exactly what, maybe getting ready for harvest. I don't even know if, does Grant even have a harvester? That could be a question. Maybe I can uh, custom harvest for him. He was moving around. I did see a vehicle somewhere around there, but can't see him right now. So I did get kicked out of our, my new harvester. So my wife's driving it right now. So I know, I know, I know. I, I must like her a lot to let her drive that thing. I was hoping, but uh, she wants to drive that and I need whatever help I can possibly get. So I'm gonna go over here. Uh, I get, do got my hired hand, Timmy. Oh, Timmy needs unloaded. It's a good thing about uh, being able to uh, use this grain cart. It has a ton of storage in it. So it's almost like a mother bin in the field. Basically, uh, fill up, uh, you could basically fill up a semi and a half with it. All right, see you later, Timmy. wife here right now unloader so we aren't gonna be unloading on the go with my wife she doesn't have a 
that capability yet. She does have the capability to steal my new uh, harvester, though. Oh, man. I guess I didn't get downgraded too far. I am in the Steiger with the new uh, Brent grain cart here. So, the 1596 Brent grain cart. I think I'd rather be on that thing, though. Alright, so I can really feel it back there, so we are pretty heavy. We're not completely overflowing heavy, but we're heavy. Start unloading this big mother and our trucks here. Fold that giant uh, auger. You can just see how big that thing is. It's huge. All right, we got that thing unloaded in there. So, I mean, just look how much corn is coming out the end of that auger. I'm crazy. This is when you can make a huge mistake when you're running the grain cart. You let that uh, thing go, oh man, it'll, it'll leave corn everywhere. See, uh, having a hard time even with this big grain cart keeping up with both of them uh, harvesters. It got me going full time. Alright, so we got the grain going into our other uh, semi here. Really gotta watch this. I mean, you can really make a big mistake quick if you just let this thing overflow. Alright, gotta go catch my wife here really quick. Hey, Timmy! Get back to work over there, Timmy! All right, I just got done from unloading my wifey. Looks like Timmy finally got back to work over there. Man, we are going through the acres now. I mean, look at that. We are freaking flying through these acres. Steiger a little muddy here so I have been flying back and forth trying to keep up with uh, Timmy and my wife here they're definitely abusing me like normal with my wifey though I'm a little upset I don't get to drive my new uh, JD over there Let's see I think She's gonna need unloaded here at the end of this uh, of her row here. We'll kind of follow her at a little bit of distance so we don't get a corn cob through the windshield here. All right, we'll run up here and start unloading her on the go. This is her first time unloading on the go, so I'm a little nervous. Definitely got to have some good grain cart ability here. Can't trust that she's going to shut it off. Alright, definitely. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Come on, come on, come on. Don't want to go. Don't want her to not pay attention. She doesn't even look like she's looking over here at the auger. Just looks like she's looking straight ahead. I hope she knows she's unloading right now. All right, she at least shut it off. Hopefully, oh, what, what, why, why are you backing through? Why, why are you doing that? What, what, what? You're supposed to turn. Oh, whatever. We will 
will go unload Timmy here quickly, and then I think we are gonna be overflowing. Oh man, are we weighted down now? This 370 horse tractor is really struggling with this much weight. We got 1,500 bushels on this old beast. Man, this is probably too big of a grain cart for this tractor, but oh well, it's the only one they had. Not gonna have enough uh, trucks for this grain cart load I have. All right, pull up here. I, one thing I like about this uh, grain box here, it's really low, so it's really easy to see in from the cab here. Good thing is with the Steiger, why I kind of like running it on a grain cart, you can really see, you kind of sit higher so you can see down really easy. Doesn't matter if you uh, fill on the tarp side or the other side, it's really easy to fill up. Alright, so we gotta go get, unload my wife here. She's working on the last little strip right here this section to unload into me here quickly but thank you all for watching and I will see you later here in Nebraska thank you all for watching like comment and share and subscribe